And I tell you what, don't look now. I always love saying that, Rob. Don't look now. And I'm not sure what that means. But the Toronto Blue Jays are making a run, making a push. They won 15 of their last 17 to take command and leadership of the wild card race. So they are getting it done. And the man who is leading them is none other than Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Of course, his dad, awesome player. But Vlad Jr. is taking it to an even higher level, I would say. And uh, he just hit, Rob, his major league leading 45th home run yesterday to help the Blue Jays improve to 12 and 1 this month. And he is already, that, that homer, Rob, it eclipsed the single season high set by his wonderful father in Montreal with the Expos in 2000. All right. Now, here's the deal. Vlad Guerrero is going for the Triple Crown. He leads the American League in batting average. He's hitting 318. He leads, as I said, in home runs with 45. And he's tied for third, four back in RBI with 103. He also leads the league in OPS, second in the majors. Um, And the question is this, Rob. Is he going to be the MVP? Now, the odds are still heavy in Shohei Otani's favor because Shohei, of course, is doing something we haven't seen since Babe Ruth. That's right. Something we haven't seen since Babe Ruth. He's, he's awesome at the plate. I know he's only hitting 259, but the analytics geeks tell me batting average doesn't matter anymore. So he's got 44 home runs. He's been leading the league for most of the season. Now he's second, obviously. Top 10 in in RBI with 94. And, Rob, I'm going to throw a little something extra in there. He's tied for sixth in the league with five triples. And he's tied for eighth with 23, 23 stolen bases. And, of course, to top it off, he's a hurler supreme. Nine and two on the mound. 336 ERA on the bump, 136 (laughs) Ks in 115 innings pitch from the rubber. So to me, Rob Parker, I'm sorry. I like what Vlad Jr. is doing. He is the man. I'm a fan. He's all that. But Shohei Otani is the MVP. Just one question. Where are the Angels in the playoff race, Chris? You know no, that. I'm, what, I'm, I just it doesn't ask, matter. I'm asking you just Mike answer Trout's the question. Mike got three MVPs. I'm He's asking, been the Wilds once. I'm asking They're you. like, they're not even in the playoff race. Okay. <laughs> they got All the right. sixth worst record in the AL. All right. I'm not saying that that you have to be in the playoffs to make to, to win the MVP. It's not football or basketball. Okay. We, we I know that. I get that. But here's the difference. And I'm not. I'm. I'm the biggest Shohei no, Otani guy. I am. You're a detractor. You're trying, to, you're trying to paint me like I don't like him. I think he's an unbelievable player. I can't believe I'm watching somebody who's uh, pitching and playing every day. It's unbelievable. We haven't seen it since Babe Ruth, and we didn't see Babe Ruth. So, Chris, I I appreciate Shohei and how talented he is. But it's a novelty act. What? What? It ain't. It ain't what Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is doing. And he's going for the triple crown. You mean it will be the first time in baseball history that a guy can win a triple crown and not win the MVP? It ain't going to happen. And here's the other part. He's playing in meaningful games, Chris, in September. They've come charging back, and Vlad is doing his thing. Otani's batting 259. Vlad Jr.'s batting 321. You can poo poo batting average all you want. There's a huge difference between those two numbers. And Otani's a third starter. Stop it. 
He ain't the ace. He's a third starter. He's, he's fine. He's good. He's great. But don't make it out like the impact that he's had with the Angels is close to what Vlad has. That's what an MVP is. He's rallied the troops. They passed the Yankees. They're a game up on the Yankees. Uh, they lead the wild card. You just said it, 15 out of 17. It ain't like Vlad is here for the ride. He's leading the charge. That's what you want from an MVP candidate. Not playing meaning, meaningless games in September where you could just swing for the fences, right? Because there's no, no nobody's pitching you. There's no game on the line. The numbers are inflated. They're phony. They're baloney. That's what they are. <laughs> What's baloney is your logic. <laughs> First of all, everybody's swinging for the fences in Major League Baseball nowadays. That's, that's not just relegated to the also rans. All right, Rob Parker, stop it. This is the equivalent. What Shohei Otani is doing, and I don't care if he was the fifth member of the bullpen. He's pitching. <laughs> when have we ever, and we've never seen a pitcher, like you said, we didn't see Babe Ruth. We've ne- for all we know, it's fiction. Where's the tape? <laughs> all right, where's the tape? Did Babe Ruth really do this? We know Shohei Otani is doing it for real, Rob Parker. This is the equivalent of someone in the NFL playing quarterback and linebacker. Notice I didn't say cornerback. Even that would be impressive. I thought but you I were going to say linebacker that. All right, linebacker. All right. Because... Shohei is a power hitter, and he's a power pitcher. Who was that right? fat quarterback for the Giants? Do you remember that he had the that fat? big – Yeah, he played for Kentucky. Oh, yeah, Rob, yeah. You know who I'm talking about? He's a left Jerry hander. Lorenzen, the yes. hefty lefty, rest yes. in peace. Right. That's right. He, That's he right. passed? He did. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, did but you see were, last night I was saying, was a 310-pound fullback? I was saying, Chris, for the like, like he could have played line. You know what I mean? Like he was so big. Yeah, well, he probably was big a lineman. enough. That's for yeah, darn yeah. sure. But you know what, Rob, it's not, okay, it's somebody playing quarterback and linebacker and not just playing them, but playing them at an all-pro level. This is like having uh, uh, Aaron Rodgers and Ray Lewis balled up in the one. And and, and I'm going to give you an NBA equivalent, too. This is like when Russell Westbrook won the MVP because he averaged a triple-double, Rob. We had never seen it since Oscar Robertson. We didn't think we'd ever see it again. Magic, Jason Kidd, LeBron, Penny Hardaway, none of them did it. And here comes this 6-3 whirlwind doing what we never thought we'd see. That is the thing with Shohei. We never thought we'd see this. He's got to get it. I get it. I'm not trying to belittle the triple crown. The triple crown to me still is incredible. It, it is. The but last it's one not to do as it. incredible as what this dude is doing. That's all I'm saying. The last guy to do it was Miguel Cabrera in 2012, Chris. It doesn't happen that do you often. Think it's a, do you think doing, getting the triple crown is as impressive as what Shohei is doing? It is from, let's look. No, Shohei is in a league by himself, but we don't have to give him the MVP for that. Like, like there are other things that, I, like, the, the, the problem I have, if both of the teams, Chris, weren't in the playoff mix, then maybe I, I, would, I would be with Shohei, okay? And that's why Trout has won before, because his numbers were so much more impressive than the other guys in the league. You, so you didn't care about the record that's how impressive. If Shohei was batting 310 and Shohei was in the top five in RBIs and very close to Vlad's numbers, Chris, yes, he wins hands down. But he's not that close in those other numbers. And that's the problem I have. He has the home runs. He doesn't have the batting average. He doesn't, he's in the middle of the pack in the RBIs. He's not in the top. Well, this is a chance. Well, I mean, he's in the top, top 10. 10. Tied for 10. Okay. Yeah. But, but, I mean, Vlad is tied – with the top three guys, right? I mean, he's as far for as yep. RBI. Right. So but here's so, the thing, Rob. Uh, other than batting average, the other numbers 
OPS, are, you said. He leads in OPS. No, okay, but I'm saying uh, Vlad has had 60 more at-bats than Shohei has. So certainly home runs, uh, Shohei's hitting them at a better pace. And RBI is probably close, if not in Shohei's favor, as far as at-bats. So, you know, I... I, I hear you. I don't want to – and, and I, I – obviously, we take winning into account. I mean, that's important. But it's just different in baseball because, you know, one guy, even a guy that pitches and hits, can only do so much in baseball. Yep. And we've seen it happen. Andre Dawson, Chris, I believe was the yeah. first to do it, uh, be, be an MVP on a last-place team. Um, so, and they aren't last place. Are they last in their division? They're sixth in the American League. Right. I don't think they're last in their division. But I'm saying, like, I'm just saying, like, for a team that didn't worse make it to the playoffs. Yeah. Um, it's going to be interesting. But, Rob G., you got some numbers for us, right? Shohei's the big favorite, right? That's right, Chris. According to our friends at Sports Betting Dime, I would have went to bet MGM if they didn't have the odds posted yet. But according to SportsBettingDime.com, as of yesterday, Shohei Otani is currently the favorite, which is not really surprising. But what is surprising is that he's a minus 6,000. For those of you who don't bet, who don't put shekels on things like Rob Parker, that's basically them saying he has a 98% chance of winning the award. Right. No, I mean, I, I get people because of what he's doing and we've never seen it. But remember, it's the baseball writers who watch all the games, who are going to look at this charge and this run by Toronto, uh, Toronto and it could sway it, Chris, it, 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 unless – what if Shohei has a final 15 games and he doesn't play that well? Is he still a and, – and, and the Blue Jays, you well, know, I'll give you that. making if a he playoff. Fizzles, if he fizzles, he ends up hitting 250 and maybe only hits one more home run. Or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, where he I'll, fizzles give, you, at the I'll end. give it to you. But, but what if Vlad does that for that matter? No, I, what I if, get it. Okay, let me ask you this. Is Vlad – does he have to win the Triple Crown? To get the MVP in your view? I, I, I think he does. I think that's what would tilt the scales. So yep. right now he would he not He wouldn't win be. it, right. Okay. Because of Otani, but I'm saying if he does, and he's within three RBIs of the lead, so he's well, definitely yeah, in okay, play. Right, he's got a shot. Right. He's got right. a shot. And Chris's batting average is what? Is it 321 the last three, I looked? 321, right. Yeah, I mean, if he has those three and they storm back and they make the playoffs or whatever, he's going to have a great shot. It's going to sway some people, and especially if Otani doesn't finish strong. But I will give you, if it's not a triple crown, uh, people could justify not voting for him. Okay, so you think if he, if he gets, a trip, gets a triple crown, you think he should be the MVP? Yes, Do you think absolutely. he will? If he gets I, the triple crown, yeah, will I think he, he has, be the I MVP? think he has a great shot if he gets the, tri if he gets the triple crown. I'm going to tell you like we tell our – our callers. This is the odd couple. No, no, I think he's got a great <laughs> shot. Is he going to be the MVP? You know the writers. If he gets the triple crown, is he going to be the MVP? Yes, he is. He will be, okay. he will be the MVP with a triple crown. I, I believe writers will take that into account. It's so hard to do. It's only happened a handful of times. You think pitching and playing baseball and, and playing every day is hard? Try winning a triple crown. It just hadn't been done by that many players. Yeah, and uh, uh, pitching and hitting has that that comes around all the time. It's a novelty. 